Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Spy Family episode number 8. Okay, the previous episode we we start with obviously Anna being disheartened because you know what happened with the whole Damien situation, you know like like now he he like you know Damien is like got punched from her and that's why like in the whole relationship plan just got completely demolished. <laughs> But you know, like later on, um, like you know, as we see, like you know, uh, uh, Lloyd was like, okay, fine, like you know, we can do this. I'm gonna first go and apologize. I'm sure he'll, like you know, forgive. And Anna tries to apologize throughout the whole day. Unfortunately, because of different situations, she cannot. But then, when she was able to apologize, um, Damien runs off, embarrassed. Now, <laughs> Anna thought that it actually failed, but actually, in actuality, what's happening was Damien started liking her. And uh, so this is kind of going in quite an interesting direction. And I can't wait to see what happens after this. Like, this is, this is really interesting. And uh, like, you know, Lloyd was also like, oh my god, this plan has failed. So what to do now? Become the Imperial Scholar. So more study. Now, I feel like in that moment, you know, Dame, uh, for a moment, Lloyd kind of became that type of, per that type of a person who was just like, oh, mission, mission, become focus on the mission, that type of a person. And he actually forgot that his main, like, you know, goal was to make Anna ha Anya happy. For the, like, you know, like, that was like the main goal. So, Yor was there. Yor kind of told him that you don't have to worry about anything about that because I've seen my brother as well, you know, my brother, you know, uh, was kind of like Anya, and obviously, you know, I've, I've seen that the, be the best thing that you can do in this situation is just support her and let it go on its own way. I'm sure, like, you know, everything will be fine, like, you know, but if, like, you know, if, if she really tries, like, you know, it's able to get, is, uh, like, you know, it's going to get expelled, then we'll help her out. But for now, let her do, you know, like, what she is supposed to do at this age. And Lloyd was like, yeah, I should become a better father. And uh, Lloyd was like, yeah, I was kind of like, you know, pushing her in the wrong direction at this point. But then she, he finds out like Anya was also really like, you know, trying to do her best to become better at studies. Because boy, oh boy, this academy teaches um, like what Pythagoras theorem in, in this age, reflection. Yeah, so <laughs> obviously these things should not be taught to elementary school students like and is an elementary school isn't it almost like that something like that so yeah like <laughs> anyways um that was that and in the end we get a little bit of a glimpse of yuri and i'm guessing we're going to see yuri in this episode and uh, he is surprised that Yor didn't tell her that she got married and let's see what happens here so this is episode number eight um let's start so yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> I wonder like I wonder how his brother is uh, like you know, your brother is going to react to this because she he did seem a bit concerned about your you know about oh if someone's deceiving her or something you know like you remember in the first episode he said that oh like i'll decide for myself if that person is worthy of you or something he said something like that and he was concerned about your being deceived by someone so oh yeah i wonder how this will go i'm sure he'll like anya but i'm not so sure about lloyd <laughs> let's see The counter secret police cover. Okay. <coughs> hmm. 
Okay, can she do it? Three what? Three turns. <laughs> Three turns. <laughs> oh my god. Well. <laughs> well, everything's going perfect. What? No. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Damn, this is the... Oh my god. Okay, security for server. Oh no. So this is what's happening. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, it's, it's that girl. I forgot her for a second. Oh my god, this girl is back again. Great. Camila, that's her name. Mm, well <laughs> yeah this is oh boy oh no oh yeah that's true oh my god <laughs> wow. Files. Damn. Very security service. Main includes spy hunting and keeping. Ah! Yeah, okay. Okay, the secret police, okay. Oh no! Yuri's part of this? That's Yuri, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my. Wow, this is not good. So, <laughs> she, he also has a secret. Kind of, I guess. Okay. Wait, what? Because of that? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, he just comes in and talks about his sister? That's how he tortures people? I guess that's one way to torture people. <laughs> oh, there you go. Proof. No, it's my doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot. Oh boy. Okay.
तो oh no is it oh my god is it lloyd is it lloyd oh my god ah this is bad <laughs> it probably does yeah yeah well yeah there you go she he has not told her Oh my god. <clears throat> well. Mm. Oh, this is be a problem. Damn, look at his eyes. Wait, they're showing these type of things in a kid's kids show? Uh. <laughs> Eight, okay. Oh, yes, you can teach her like this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she will probably. <laughs> Look at the Anya's face. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> uncle? <laughs> That's a good way to call your uncle. Uncle? <laughs> That's quite a cute way to call. Oh, there you go. Wow. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> mm. Mm. Does he know that? Oh no, he doesn't know that he works in the SP. <clears throat> Damn, every character has one. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my god. His eyes. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Yeah. 
Huh? Wow. Why? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Yeah, like, like, we need an excuse. Everything? Ah, oh, no. No, no, no. No! Uh. Yeah. Perfect excuse. Which is? Oh no, what will it be? <laughs> well, <laughs> like, you know what? In a weird way, I actually believe her. Oh, yeah, um... Ah, yes! Perfect excuse! <laughs> <laughs> your, your Lord's face! Yeah... <laughs> Probably. Damn, that, that, that looks good. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, yeah, your is just gets so drunk. Hmm. Wait, why? Oh my god, your, don't make this more complicated. Hmm. All right, stop. Uh. <laughs> what? Loy, loy. <laughs> Oh no, I feel like both of them are going to get drunk. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. 
Empress. Wait, what was that about? Ah, oh, okay. Damn. He, what's happening? Oh, I was like, what's happening? Fabricate a story about going to another country. Oh my god, he just realized. Oh, he realized that Yuri is faking. Damn. Hmm. Worked in the department up until a year ago. Okay. Well, there you go, he knows. Hopefully. Hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. Wait, was she? Oh my god! Wait, she is in the assassin job from this. from this old age? Oh my god. Wait. Well, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Duel me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he d does he know about Anya? He's <laughs> Pierre <a> Meteor. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what's so bothering you? <laughs> He's drunk. He's drunk. He's not wrong, you know? <laughs> eh, well, Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Well. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, he's so drunk. <laughs> oh, he's drunk. Oh. Oh no.
<laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's thinking of so many things in that amount of time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um Um Wait, what? Okay, what is this? What? What what type of a cliffhanger is this? Like I've seen a lot of cliff <laughs> <laughs> cliffhangers in my life, you know, like a lot of animes and everything. I think this is the first time I've seen a cliffhanger like this. Like what? <laughs> okay, um, let's let's guess what could happen. Number one, <laughs> Yuri himself would realize what the hell is happening. You know, his drunkness will kind of subside, and he himself will stop them. Number two, Anya will somehow come somehow come out. You know, she'll be like, Mom, Dad, where are you? You know, like, you wake up from uh, sleep and come out. That's how this whole thing will be stopped. There is a third chance that they actually do it, but I doubt that's going to happen. So, yeah, that's like 0.1% chance of happening. So, these two are the main <laughs> way this could go. Either Yuri will stop them or um, Anya will come out. My guess is Anya will probably come out. Like that has a higher chance of happening because Yuri is drunk now. He wouldn't stop them. So Anya coming out has a bigger chance of happening. And seeing Anya, they'll stop, you know? Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Yep, obviously they're not going to show us what's happening. What's going to happen. But yeah, so <laughs> we'll see, you know, like we'll see in the next week. Like th these are my two guesses. Uh, my, like, you know, it's like a 60% chance of Anya coming out and the whole thing is going to get stopped. 40% chance of Yuri himself, not 40%, but um, like 40, um, no, 39.5% uh, chance of Yuri actually, you know, realizing what's happening and he himself stopping the, the whole thing. And 0.5% chance of them actually kissing, which is obviously not going to happen. This is barely the start. And as far as, you know, animes go, nah, nah, that's not going to happen. So, <laughs> yeah, Anya is probably going to come out. That's my, like, guess. <clears throat> so, we begin with Anya trying her best in studying, you know. And <laughs> she was asked a question and she was like, Three third, <laughs> three third. <laughs> that's that's one of the best answers I have to say. Three third. <laughs> okay. So, and while on the other hand, Lloyd is uh, like you know conversing with, I don't know her name, the the red red haired girl with the glasses, you know, um, talking about how much like you know like how what they guess how much time it would take for Anya to get all the eight stellas and become a royal no what imperial scholar <laughs> they like they, they did a weird calculation and they're like oh it's like four months will be enough and lord is like you know his hand is shaking and he's like yeah yeah four months it's enough you know <laughs> and uh, oh boy and he kind of like you know just um told uh, lord to be on guard because like you know a lot of things are happening and uh, you know like people are getting taken out the spice and everyone so he, she told Lloyd to keep an eye out for this whole thing. Now here we get to meet with the SP or the secret police. And uh, these are the guys who are part of this country. So obviously they are like, you know, just against spies completely. So <clears throat> we see this, like, you know, this, uh, this captain of the, 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 the team or whatever, this guy like, you know, with the two scars, him, he coming to one of uh, like, you know, to the uh, the the place the you know one like one office or something and taking one person out him he is being uh, accused of being a spy and his office was the same office as yours office because that girl was there the 
your co-worker i don't know her name but she was like you know watching all of this happen like what a weird coincidence you can see like you know like uh, not coincidence i would say like obviously these are like see the secret police um so they obviously are going to come wherever there will be like these type of spy problems so i'm saying coincidence because you know this is the same place that, that your works and this is his bro her brother's organization or the organization that his brother works for that is the secret police so that's why i'm saying coincidence anyways um, now like one thing i'm not still sure about um like i understand like you know like one thing i can i'm like and i know that lloyd is like you know part of not part of this like whole thing you know like he's like a spy from outside and that's why you know like uh people like lloyd are the ones who uh yuri's organization that is the secret police are uh, just against you know like that's why they are like you know taking like you know custody of the spies so i know that like you know like so yuri is part of this like you know this country this whole thing while uh, lloyd is an outside force one thing i'm not so sure about what organization is you're working for is it is it like you know the assassination organization of this country or some something else you know that's what i'm kind of curious about so i'm sure i'll get my answers in the future but you know why i'm talking about this like it'll be really weird if she's actually working for an organization that's not part of this country because that would actually make your against yuri because yuri is part of the country he's doing everything to make you know this country <clears throat> He kind of just like all the take out all the bad people from this country while you're if like you know if the assassination organization is from somewhere else and it's not part of this country this you know this whole thing that would be a problem you know like because that would mean they are what they're working for are against each other and they both doesn't know about that fact like that type of a situation anyways i'm i'm, I'm sure i'll get my answers in the future all right so your uh, talks with her co-workers and they tell uh, tell her about how like you know he, uh, he, she has not told yuri about the marriage and your remembers now you're like oh my god yeah th you're right i didn't tell him i forgot <laughs> he, she genuinely forgot you know like not for one year obviously but even after actually getting like you know the married and uh, shifting houses even after that she forgot to tell yuri <laughs> with all the things that were happening you know it's like it's been a tough time um so <clears throat> okay now here from here we shift towards the secret police and we see that the guy who has been taken by the sp uh, mr hayward i think that was his name talking to the guy with the scar and he has been tortured you know like at first he was not talking and then by the end you know like he oh no he was not talking sorry he was not talking at all and then yuri comes in and uh, oh boy this was a not a surprise i you know like you know what i kind of thought maybe it there will be some kind of a catch with yuri as well you know because everything's like a secret secret thing in this anime like you know everyone has like a secret identity i wouldn't be surprised if yuri also had one and there you go i was like you know like i didn't expect him to be working for the sp but i did expect him to have like some kind of a secret identity so there you go he's part of this group and his sister doesn't know about it so he comes in and um, <clears throat> you know like and then the, the other people are uh, the other sp guards they're talking about why he is here like you know his face and everything he doesn't look like a person uh, like you know who would interrogate others and <laughs> the guy says that the boss took him in because he looks like a cute little puppy or something and at first i was like what why and then i realized that there's probably like a deeper meaning behind it is because maybe like his the contrast between his face his like an appearance and uh you know his inner you know like behavior inner thing is so abrupt and so weird and so like you know just contrasting that the the, the people who he interrogates probably just spills out everything and it's more effective you know because his face and the way he interrogates is contrasting heavily contrasting it's nowhere the same <laughs> So he gets in and he just like you know just starts talking about his sister <laughs> gives a big prologue of how she he loves his sister and then he talks about how he's going to 
we cannot just take out all the unwanted elements from this country because his sister lives here and <laughs> he presents the like you know the the photographic evidence and he's like i have everything here and uh, you know like better spill everything and hayward as soon as he sees the evidence he he actually starts talking and uh, <clears throat> you know like he talks about how he was like you know like a like like a middle agent like he doesn't know anything he has been doing these type of jobs for people just for money and uh, you know like yuri and he was like oh please forgive me like and i'm like and i'm just doing this for a little bit of cash just to fool around with like you know girls or something and uh, yuri's like wait you have a wife and he's like yeah you're also a man you will understand like you know typical and uh, <clears throat> Yuri's like, uh-uh, I have a family and like, you know, like you, I love my family. So you better like, you know, actually tell me like, you know, what you know, <laughs> you know, and then he kind of shoves his face in the, the, the ashtray and asks him about Twilight, if he knows anyone by that name. And oh boy, oh boy, here we realize that, yeah, this is, this is trouble because, you know, like Twilight is your husband. <laughs> so... <clears throat> All of this was happening while on the other hand uh, Anya, Lloyd and uh, Yor um, now nah, Anya and Lloyd were there and Anya was like watching all, obviously Bond Man and <laughs> here she actually says she actually says like oh two bullets left out of eight that means it's two out of eight isn't it and Lloyd is like wait a minute this is a good way to teach her and I also feel like this is a good way like you know like because it will be actually involve her favorite thing that is the anime the Bond Man anime and if he tries to teach her with that you know like she'll be able to understand a lot better you know so I'm, I'm guessing Lloyd will probably try to use this technique later on you know but for now your comes in and yours like trouble my brother he's coming today <laughs> and oh boy and they're like so what do I do like you know like this is like a fake family like she'll, she'll understand and uh, <laughs> they have all the evid like you know like all the subtle little things of you know like for example like picture frames of them being like you know like just uh together and like you know like matching to uh, like you know matching cups you know like same uh, like you know toothbrush in the same cup that type of thing and like the, the bed as well and they're like lloyd is like oh because of that he probably won't be able to figure out <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> here Anya was just getting sleepy. And I love, <laughs> I love how Anya gives each character like a different name. He called, <laughs> he called Yuri as Anki, which is which is kind of a cute way to call your uncle, you know, Anki. Like, like yeah, it's kind of cute. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, she just falls asleep. Obviously, it's late, you know, and. Uh, yeah. On the other hand, Yuri is coming with a huge bouquet of flour, and he is like, "Oh, like you know, like I can't wait to see my sister again." And he's like, uh, "Like the previous day, like you know, time when sister hugged me, and my one few of my ribs broke." Like I feel it's so extremely weird that they don't suspect each other, even if they see these type of things. For example, in the later part of this uh, episode, we see how Yor is all covered in blood, and Yor, like you know, Loy, uh, not Loy, sorry, Yuri didn't even suspect her. Obviously, she was, he was young at that age, so he did not. But now he's older, shouldn't he suspect about something about that? No, he doesn't. And, uh, like, you know, like, it's, it's really unusual how no one suspects each other. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, um, Yuri is like, okay, like, you know, like, I, like, you know, like, I'm, it's so weird why, like, you know, the, if she did not introduce the husband like i love the fact that you know like from the like you know like how this whole thing escalates at the beginning yuri was like okay like you know she, his sister is married i can't wait to meet them and then as he kind of goes closer and closer to the house his whole demeanor changes and by the end he was like i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to not accept the husband at all like how this whole thing escalates and you know by the end of it he comes to like a decision that yeah i'll not i'm not going to accept <laughs> yours husband <laughs> like obviously i understand his like you know fear that he thinks that maybe it's like some bad person or something who wants to harm her like you know uh, a sister his, his sister 
and uh, he also is like yeah maybe that's the reason why you know you didn't tell me anything even after one year getting married because he's a bad person like a criminal or something but he has made up his mind to not accept lloyd comes in you know like and anya's already gone to sleep uh, like you know, i would have loved to see anya interact with yuri but i'm guessing that will have to wait probably tomorrow like you know the to, like you know next week's episode we're going to see anya um <clears throat> But yeah, uh, Yuri comes and uh, he, <laughs> the door opens. Yuri's just looking at Lloyd, and Lloyd is just looking at Yuri. And both of them are like, "Yeah." Yuri's like, "I'm not going to accept him." And Lloyd is like, "Yeah, I have to put on the act, keep on the act properly." They get in. Uh, Lloyd goes to make some food, and uh, Yuri comes in, sits down and uh, <laughs> the faces that he's making you know he's not happy with this at all he has just decided not to accept lloyd and uh, no he sits down and uh, <laughs> now here we kind of go to a little bit of a recollection or a flashback um is that where lloyd talks to yuri uh yor about what he should tell uh, you know yuri about why did they not tell him for one year and uh, here Lloyd, the first thing that Lloyd says is like, let's tell him the truth that, you know, like, since uh, single women at this age is very suspicious, seen highly suspicious by society. That's why this is like a little thing, play we're doing, you know, like, like a, we just decided to get married, that type of a way. And uh, Yuri, uh, sorry, L Yor was like, no, 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 like, you know, my brother is a bit sensitive, so that shouldn't work. So, and also I don't want to make him worry. That's why, let me handle it. I know how to, like, you know, talk to him and how to make him not worry about the situation. So, oh boy. And you know what? I kind of not, was not surprised with you, yours answer. She's just like, I just forgot. Nothing else. No, like, you know, huge bad story. Nothing. I just forgot. <laughs> Lloyd is like, what? Is that going to work? And... Yuri was like, wait, so you forgot? Okay, I guess, but why didn't you tell me when you called me? And Yuri is like, I forgot that I forgot to tell you. <laughs> That's one of the best excuses I've heard. I'm, I'm probably going to use this in the future, you know? <laughs> I forgot that I forgot to tell you. <laughs> and Yuri's like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. And Lloyd is like, really, that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, basically what the main requirement for here was to let your handle the situation. Whatever his sister will say, he'll believe. So there you go, like problem solved. The whole one year situation is under control. No one will ask him anything about that. But now the bigger problem was him accepting Lloyd. So <clears throat> at first I was kind of scared of the fact, not scared, but kind of concerned of the fact that whether uh, you, you, you is going to realize who Lloyd is, what's her, what her, his identity is, because you know, he's part of the SP. So it wouldn't surprise me. And he was also talking about Twilight. It wouldn't surprise me if he realized that that was Twilight, but nothing like that happened unfortunately. but the reverse did happen. Lloyd realized who he was. So, you know, he brings some food and <laughs> Yuri is just eating them and Yuri is like, oh, this is quite good, you know, this is quite good. And <laughs> he's like, but this won't, like, you know, win me over. I won't accept you because of this. <laughs> and, uh, okay, and Yuri brings out a wine and he's like, oh, like, you know, you, you can have this one. And, uh, <clears throat> and, <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> Lloyd multiple times told Yor not to drink, but still by the end of it he starts drinking, and uh, you know like Lloyd, uh, Lord, sorry not Lloyd, Yuri's main goal here was to make him drunk and actually make him spill up everything. Weirdly enough, actually I, I guess Lloyd did not drink much. Lloyd didn't get drunk, and the one who ended up getting drunk was Yuri and Yor, <laughs> which is really hilarious. <laughs> Like the hunter becomes the hunter or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so he asks, starts asking, where did you meet this and that? And uh, Lloyd starts talking about like, you know, in the boutique and this and that. And 
you know like um and she he just keeps starts asking all these questions how many times did you meet after how many times you met did you decide to get married this and that all multiple just you kind know, of full of questions <laughs> and while he's asking this he's getting frustrated and just putting in the drink and drinking sipping the wine and he's again asking getting frustrated and the cycle is repeating and he's gradually getting dr more drunk <laughs> So Lloyd kind of brings like a little water and gives him and he's like, no, I'm not going to accept him. He's been considerate to me, to me, but I'm not going to accept him at all. Now, this whole thing is happening. So Lloyd kind of, kind of changes the whole thing. And he says like, oh, you talks about you so much. And he says, she says like, you are such a, like, you know, like as a civil servant, you're very, like, you know, <clears throat> uh, very accomplished and this and that talks about how he went to a certain city. Wait, uh, what city was it? Just a sec. <clears throat> okay, um, Bu Hugaria, okay, Hugaria. How he went to Hugaria? He's like, uh, yeah, I went there. And he starts talking about, like, you know, like, uh, I think like a certain cafe and then restaurant talks about the person, the, the chef who, like, you know, does the food over there and how the wine is also from Hugaria. And like, you know how the, this whole conversation went? If, he was talking about Hugaria and Lloyd, obviously Lloyd knew that this was like a part of the whole procedure of the secret police in this country. So he kind of like, you know, gives like the bait, puts in the bait and he's like, oh, so uh, yeah, I, I also went there, you know, like, and that, that place, you know, I also went to, to that restaurant you're talking about. Um, uh, the, the owner of the, the chef who does this restaurant is also someone that I'm, I'm familiar with and he talks about the whole thing and he's like yeah yeah it's, it's true and then Lloyd like you know kind of extends the bait and he says like oh you also brought the wine from there didn't you and according to the, 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 the thing that like you know the, the, the information that they feed you know like these SP people feed others to fake the whole thing is like you know the, that wine as well like you know that's part of the procedure so he is like yeah you're right you know he kind of goes along with that and i feel like since he was drunk he didn't really understand that lloyd was actually kind of uh, baiting him and trying like you know bringing out all this information if he was sober he would have probably realized what lloyd was trying to do or at least have like a suspicion but he didn't he's just he just told him like yeah you're right and lloyd is like ah this this thing is really excellent and then in his head Lloyd starts thinking, well, my suspicion is confirmed. He is part of the SP because that's what they do. This is the procedure. This is the little script that they give them to fake other people. And whenever they say talk about like, you know, going somewhere else, this is what they go with. Went to Hugaria, this restaurant, this chef and this um, wine. The funny thing here is this is this is like part of a script. This has been going on for, I'm guessing, a couple of years or decades. And the script has not been changed, but the weird, like, you know, but the interesting thing here is since the script hasn't changed, they say the same thing, but the actual situation in Hugaria has changed. You know, the owner, he's not there. His son does the, like, you know, food preparations. The um, price for the wine has increased. Since the script is an old script, they keep doing that. So people who actually went to Hugaria and have like information about that will be easily able to catch that lie. Lloyd, since he's part of the spy network, he knows of all of these things. And that's how he was able to realize that, oh, he's, he's bluffing. He's like, you know, doing this, which was like, a, this was a really interesting part of this episode. And uh, Lloyd was like, yeah, and I know now I'm quite confirmed. He's part of the secret police. And these are all fake information or like a script that they give them to tell other people to fake their identity. And uh, Lloyd is like, so the thing here is, I don't, I don't need to panic here because he doesn't know what who I am, but I know who he is. So if I play my cards right, you know, I can actually gain more information from him about the whole situation. And at the same time, this whole uh, family, I can keep playing as a family man. And um, he's like, yeah, this is going to work pretty well if I, like, you know, if I play the cards right. And uh, while this was happening, you know, and uh, Lloyd, uh, you're just like, oh, like, you know, there you see, like, you know, such a nice big brother you have now. 
Yuri gets pissed off. He's like, I won't call him my big brother. And he starts talking about how his sister was everything for him. You know, like when his mom and dad was not there for him. Um, and like and like because of the uh, the kind of lack of uh, monetary help. Um, his sister, like, you know, did part time, and obviously we know what that part time was. One thing I was surprised here was how young Yor was when he started the assassin job, and uh, we see her just coming in, in in their house, all bloody and everything, and she's like, "Oh, it's just part of the work, you know." But look at this, I brought this for you, and Yuri, like you know, brought Yuri's stuff and everything, and Yuri's like that one person who like you know did so much things for me. You know, like I wanted to grow up and help her out, and uh, I'm I'm sure like you know you won't understand what like you know suddenly like a, a random dude comes in and just you know like my sister is taken away from me, how I feel. So yeah, that was like his everything comes out because he's drunk, and he tells talks about the situation and how he feels about this, and he's like, no, I'm not going to accept you, and uh, <laughs> Lloyd is like. Oh, like you, know, you love your sister. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm. I know about that. But I love him, her, equal, not equal, but even more than you do. And I can, like you know, even even if like you know, spears rain down, swords rain down, meteors rain down. I'm going to protect you. <laughs> and Yuri's like, wait a minute. You know, like spears and swords, I can understand, but meteors. You know, even I won't be able to do that. Like he's so drunk. You know, like he's just. <laughs> and then he's like, he has this amazing genius idea and he's like like he's uh, no sorry uh, you're yuri's like uh, no you're a liar you're lying you have a face of a liar <laughs> and he has this genius idea he's like um oh no sorry um the the glass drops you know they try to kind of just wipe it and their hands touch you know lloyd and uh, yours they kind of you know gets embarrassed seeing this Yuri's like, wait a minute, why are you acting like this? One year of marriage, and this is how you're acting. And then he has this genius idea. He's like, prove it that you're married. You know, like, just <laughs> kiss. <laughs> and obviously, Yor is fr flustered, and Lloyd is like, oh, what should I do? I should definitely have to do this. Otherwise, this whole ruse is going to come out, and he's, he's going to understand that this is a fake family. And Lloyd is like, all right, fine. You know? And... <laughs> I just goes for it and you're you're is just flustered and everything and the episode stops what a weird cliffhanger but as I said like you know and this can go either way Anya is either going to come out and seeing Anya they're going to stop you know because Anya is asleep he might just she wants to might just wake up rubbing her eyes come out and be like mom dad where are you and you know the whole thing is going to get stopped either that or Yuri himself is going to stop them or something you know, it's like both of them has a chance of happening, but Anya's situation has a bigger chance of happening because Yuri is drunk now. He wouldn't, you know. So Anya coming out, waking up from her sleep has a bigger chance of happening. I doubt they're going to kiss because this is barely the start of anime. That's why, you know, the way this is going to stop, be stopped is probably Anya's going to come out and the whole thing is going to get stopped. We'll see. Next week, I'm going to be, I'll be waiting for it. Anyway, that's it. Fantastic episode as always so yeah thanks for watching this is my reaction to spy family episode number um eight so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it thanks for watching guys and i will be seeing you guys next week with another episode of spy family until then goodbye and have a nice day